Hey content creators, welcome to One Man Video. It is David Tucker here with you today. And today we're gonna be walking through how you use your Blackmagic HyperDeck Mini to play back videos that you've exported from Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, you've already seen how I'm using this in my setup because you've seen my intro video, you've seen the lower third. All of those are actually played back by the HyperDeck Mini through my ATEM switcher. And so I'm gonna show you how I export videos to get them properly onto uh, my actual HyperDeck Mini. Now, just a quick note on this. A lot of people use the HyperDecks for recording, and I do as well. I use a HyperDeck Studio for my recording. The final video of this goes out to that. But I use the other as a playback device, my HyperDeck Mini, and I think it does a really good job at that. However, it's a little tricky to get the video on the device in the right way onto one of those SD cards on the device. So we're gonna walk through all of that today from beginning to end using Premiere Pro. Now, let me give you a quick note on this. If you're using After Effects, we have already done a video on that. You can go find the link in the show notes, but also the way I figured out how to do some of this and really adjust some of these settings comes from a video that John Barker did on Here to Record. I'll also put a link to that in the show notes. And if you find any of this interesting, let me just encourage you, subscribe to this channel so you can be the first to know of new stuff that we put out there. But let's go ahead and let's dive into Premiere. So if we look here at Premiere, I've got a couple of assets that I've already pulled in, just an image and an, an After Effects composition. So let's go ahead, let's create a new one here. We're just gonna call this main video. Actually, let's just call this Premiere Demo. And from here, I'm gonna select a setting that I already have for ProRes 1080p. Now, a couple notes on this. This is going to be obviously 1080p, 1920 by 1080 with a 2997 frame rate. Now, this is critical because your HyperDeck Mini only works in one frame rate at a time. So if you drop in a video that is a different frame rate, it's only going to pick that frame rate up and it'll forget all the other videos or it'll pick one of the other videos up and forget about the one you just put on there. So if you, first of all, if your HyperDeck ever doesn't see all of the videos on that SD card, just go ahead and assume that it looks at some of those frame rates differently. And this could also be that, for example, if you actually have your field set differently, if you're not using progressive scan, it's gonna actually return a different frame rate than the one that the video is actually encoded with. So th there's a reason that I have these settings included, and we're gonna walk back through some of these in just a second when we go to export. So let's go ahead and hit okay. One other quick note to talk about is that, while I'm just dropping some of these things in here to create just a sample video, is if you can't see your video playing back on your ATEM switcher, it is entirely possible that that is because your, your HyperDeck Mini is not talking in the same frame rate as your switcher. And so if that's the case for you, you just need to be sure that they're configured to use the same frame rate, and that's the frame rate of the video that you're using. So just a couple quick notes on that. Now I've just included, a. <laughs> this is about as simple as you can get. Um, we've just put this image in here and then I'm throwing a lower third in on top of it. And this is actually a lower third that I use for um, my digitalparenting.com work and just to, to show you something different here. And I've got my video ready to go and I'm just ready to go ahead and dive into here and export. So I'm gonna hit Command M and that's gonna bring up my export window here. Now let's go ahead and select Adobe ProRes 4444 with alpha. Now. Even if you're using a video that doesn't have an alpha channel, uh, there can be some advantages to go ahead and uh, go ahead and exporting it with the alpha channel included. But let's go ahead and look at some of the other settings that we have here. So first of all, again, you can see our correct codec listed here. We have our settings for the just the basic video settings set to match source. So you can see yet again, 1920, 1080, frame rate 2997, field order progressive, and the aspect is square pixels. So we have what we need there. You also can see here that we're using 8-bit uh, for our color depth and we're exporting the alpha channel. And so I'm just gonna go ahead now with those specific settings, and I'm gonna uncheck audio because we don't have audio, and just hit export. It'll take it just a second to export this video. Now, as we're doing this, let's talk about how we get the video over. So the HyperDeck Mini uses SD cards uh, to actually store video, either that you've recorded or that you're going to be playing back. Now I actually have, in this case, connected with it uh, to actually use the FTP connection. So if you notice here, if we look at this, we're in a folder called One. This corresponds to the first SD card in the unit. And I've just connected to it using its IP address here on the local network that I have. And if I refresh this directory, we're gonna see our Premiere demo video. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drag this over and we'll actually upload this. And you can see all the other videos that I have here, things like um, the one man video, lower third, the logo sting, all that actually plays back from this device. 
So once that's in place, we can see here it's uploading. Let's go ahead and switch over to ATEM Software Control. So um, I've actually had a, a, was doing a test right before this and I had a video called Main Video One. That's why you're still seeing it here. This does bring up an important point. I've noticed that when you FTP something up here, the HyperDeck Mini doesn't automatically refresh its lists in its communication with the ATM software control. And so we're probably gonna have to run over there real quick and just actually push in and out that specific SD card to get it to reread it. We can see here now that it's done uploading. And yeah, we don't see it here. So let me just go ahead uh, and kind of, you're not gonna be able to see it because you're not looking at the camera, but I'm actually walking off screen. I'm just gonna push that SD card out and back in and we're gonna see it refresh the list of videos. Couple things to point out. First is we still see all of our videos. So it's looking at the correct frame rate. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Now let's talk really quick about how this is configured. So if I go here uh, under my upstream key one, You'll notice that I have Luma selected, camera seven is set as our fill, camera eight is the key. That's what's coming out of the HyperDeck Mini. And then I have it set to pre-multiplied key, which means it's reading the alpha channel that is coming through in that key source. And it'll actually use that. And that's, for example, when I do the lower thirds, that's how they're configured. But I export those lower thirds from After Effects, drop them in here on the HyperDeck Mini and play them back. Now, we don't have to play it back in this way using the upstream key because in this case, there is no alpha that we're concerned with. And so we actually can just fire up cam seven and actually see it play. So what I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to switch over to cam seven. And you're of course, you're not gonna see uh, the software control anymore, but I'm gonna go ahead and select that and actually hit play. And what you're gonna notice is, is in just a second, you're gonna actually see there comes in that lower third and then we're gonna see it go out and then we're gonna see the video fade out. And then with that being done, we ha will have completed our video and we've actually shown the kind of the complete cycle of how to get it from going from Premiere into our software control. So really quickly, just bouncing back over here, a couple things to point out is you need to be sure, first of all, in your export settings, you're using ProRes uh, 4444. You wanna be sure you have an alpha channel and you also wanna be sure you're using the correct frame rate and you're actually using progressive scan on your video. If you have those settings in place, it should be sufficient for you to actually export and play your videos back on your HyperDeck Mini. So thanks for joining us today on One Man Video. I hope this video helps you out. Be sure you're subscribed so that you can be, uh, you can stay in touch with all the great resources we're gonna be producing here. And thanks for joining us today on One Man Video.